launch, three trim variants are offered, although by its very nature as a coach-built car, the options are almost endless. While the standard model offers the cleanest design inside and out, and was preferred by the majority of journalists at launch, there are also Monte Carlo and Cafe Racer derivatives, shown with redundant but very aesthetically pleasing leather embossed bonnet straps, more fanciful interiors and, in the case of the Monte Carlo design, triple LED headlights shaping the original. Externally, DBA's touch includes triple LED lights at the rear, enamel DBA badges and the DBA family grille taken from the Speedster. Inside, there's most stuff you'd expect from a new £70,000 car, Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth, USB connectivity and a Pioneer touchscreen featuring infotainment and sat-nav choices come as standard. The switches and indicator stocks are finished in nerd aluminium and the nickel buttons are pleasingly cool to the touch. Certainly, in the confines of hipster shortage, it looked just the part. And while true fans might bemoan the styling tweaks, you're guaranteed a car with better mechanical quality than the original. The Mini was a fantastic concept, poly put together, said Brown. Where plausible, and right, DBA has used new bolts and smaller parts in the reconditioning, all of which lends a certain credence to Brown's confident assertion that his car is the best iteration of this car, ever.